Casey in Trenton right at City Hall, and we're going to talk a little bit about some First Amendment rights, but not here at City Hall, actually across the street at NJ Weedman's joint. Uh, but there's a secret inside the building, and I'm not talking about his special sauce. Weedman has opened inside the walls of his restaurant a religious sanctuary called the Liberty Bell Temple Three. Please love the pork and pants, members and diners, all others are charged to come in, all five personnel. Yeah. I had to check it out. It's surely not open to the public, but I got a special invite just for chasing news. All right, members only. Let's, uh, oh, how do I become a member of this? I knocked and was greeted by a facilitator of sorts. His name was Big L, who ushered me through the security and right into the temple. We are medical and spiritual users of marijuana and ganja, so all members will indulge in the sacrament of marijuana. Now, the rule of the temple is BYOB bring your own butt. There's no marijuana sold or distributed on their premises. This isn't a philosophy and food temple. It's a, a sanctuary for all spiritual users. So you can be anything. You can be a, a Muslim, a Jew, a Catholic. But if you believe in the, the, the sanctity, the sacrament of the herb, cannabis, fever, I'm inviting you to come here. Well, I guess that I inadvertently ingested a little bit of, of the secondhand sacrament. <laughs> because guess what? They made me an honorary member. You're kidding. No, absolutely not. Weedman is actually a pioneer. He's running for office. And this is actually happening right now in the United States, in Indiana. After Governor Mike yes, Pence my passed a religious freedom legislation in March, then shortly after, the Secretary of State approved the first cannabis church in the state. So what? on your membership card, I read the back of it. One of them, it says, one of the tenants, I guess, of the faith, it says all members are required to pray while in the temple. Were they praying? Is this how they pray? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you know, they. it's very spiritual. They take their sacrament and, you know, it's, it's an interesting you know, place. It's just a sad guy that is suffering from oh, a my. terrible disease, yes. and he, you know, he clearly feels he needs it. I'm going to pull Rosa Parks here, but she broke the law to make change. Maybe that's what we managed well, to hear. Yes. 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 Honestly, this is almost shameful that Rosa Parks comes up, <laughs> legitimate religion comes up, and we're putting this guy, weed man, up as an example like that. I find that ridiculous. Do you know how many people smoke weed? Yeah, not that ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Lizzie Winters 